everyone, and welcome to another virtual dose of vitamin Z, where we bring the Detroit Zoo to you. My name is Zara. I'm an education specialist at the Detroit Zoological Society, where we celebrate and save wildlife every day. And today, we're taking a virtual tour of the beaver habitat. Let's go. The Jane and Frank Wardrill Habitat was completed in 2012 and contains 25,000 gallons of water for the beavers to swim and live in. Beavers have a deep pool and a lazy river that leads to a lodge where the beavers spend most of the day sleeping. The deep pool gives visitors underwater views of the beavers, but it's not always easy to spot them. To find out why, let's learn a little more about beavers. Beavers are the largest North American members of the rodent family. They're the second largest worldwide after the South American capybaras. The biggest feature all rodents share is their large incisors, or the front teeth that never stop growing. For beavers, this is an especially important feature because they spend all night putting those incisors to work. In fact, beavers are so effective, they are one of the most impactful keystone species in the world. An animal is classified as keystone when the impacts they have are large enough to affect an entire ecosystem. Beavers do just that. Their work helps build entire ecosystems that many plants and animals depend on. But what does a beaver do to have these impacts? Beavers use special adaptations to build dams across fast-moving rivers and streams. These dams slow down the water and create ponds. Using their teeth, a beaver can take down an eight-foot tree in five minutes. But other adaptations are also necessary to become an effective builder. Their dexterous front feet help them grab branches, leaves, and more to add to the dams and their flat, wide tails are necessary for packing in mud to create solid barriers. These tails are used for more than building though. They also store fat there in the fall so that they can use it as energy in the winter. As awesome as the ponds they create are for other species, beavers build the dams for themselves. After the dams are complete and the ponds are created, they now have the perfect place to build their lodges. This, not the dam, is where beavers actually live. With an entrance underground, beavers, who aren't very graceful on land, are able to evade terrestrial predators by diving into the water where they excel in swimming to get home. Beavers are great at navigating water because their eyes have a clear eyelid, kind of like swim goggles that allow them to see underwater. At night, when they're most active, they rely on their whiskers. By moving them in the water, they can detect objects and find their way through narrow passageways with ease. Having whiskers serve as a navigational tool is especially important to nocturnal animals like beavers. Unlike humans, nocturnal animals are active during the evening and asleep during the day. And that's typically how the beavers at the Detroit Zoo spend their days when most people visit. Most likely, during your visits to the zoo, you've walked past their habitat and seen no sign of the family of four who live there. Male Linden is typically sound asleep in his lodge with females Eve, Wicket, and Sassafras. While a monitor gives an inside peek into the lodge of the sleeping beavers, visiting the zoo in the evening is your best bet of seeing them out and about. It can be frustrating to pass their habitat and not see the beavers during the day. But remind yourself that it's a sign that the resident beavers are thriving and displaying natural behaviors inside their zoo habitat. If the Detroit Zoo beavers are the only animals left on your must-see list, then evening events at the Detroit Zoo like wild lights might be the fastest way to complete your list. While our human eyes are not great at spotting animals at night, the five million lights that light up the zoo during wild lights are the perfect way to enjoy the holidays and spot these elusive beavers. Thank you for joining me on this virtual tour of the beaver habitat. If you spot the beavers during an evening event like wild lights, be sure to share them with us by tagging the Detroit Zoo. Goodbye.